Hey guys, I got a quick, simple, easy knot that's super quick to untie, and I use it all the time, and you just might too. So keep watching. Hey guys, what's going on? Joel here from American Survival Co. And this video is about the Siberian Hitch, also known as the Evank Hitch. Whatever you call it, it's a super useful knot and I use it all the time and I want to share it with you. How I typically use this knot, as far as some applications, is for all kinds of things really, but if I'm setting up a ridge line in between two trees, um, I'll oftentimes start with the Siberian Hitch on, on one anchor and then I'll finish it off. There'll be a whole other video on that. I'll use it oftentimes to secure a plow point type tarp shelter uh, to, to a, a pole. You can use this to attach guy outlines to your tarps. You can basically use it for anywhere you need a connection to an anchor. Sometimes I even use it in my truck to secure things down if I wasn't prepared and had like ratchet straps or something. Um, but when you want to undo the line, it just, it just comes right off and there's no knots left in your stuff. I like it. Maybe you like it too. But So how do we tie this dang thing? Let's do it. So the first thing we're gonna do, I, I got my speed hank here. If you were curious about that, check out the other video on the speed hank. But I got it paid out, right? And what I like to do is promote muscle memory quicker by, I'll, I always like to go clockwise around the tree, right? Unless there's some kind of physical reason I can't do that, I will do that every time. So here I go, clockwise around the tree. I'm wrapping over my hand like this and I'm gonna take this under this main line up towards the sky and pull a bite through just like that and so what we get is basically a slip knot that's slipped so this goes like this and then it's really easy to untie Woo! awesome so cool, oh my goodness. I have a little bit of a cold. So to show you what's actually going on there, that's how I would tie it if I had gloves on or something and I wouldn't take them off. But all that's really happening here, and for some people this is easier. See this part? See how my tail end is underneath the loop? Put that under this end. Take your tail and pull it through. It's not quite the same, but it's the same principle. Just like that. 